But let's turn our attention to this matchup right here. Dallas in the black taking on Canada in the white. Game on. Zimmerman at the wing. Gets it to Davis. Davis has got Plouffe on her ball out of bounds. Michelle and Catherine Plouffe, the twin sisters who began their 3x3 career with a vision. And that vision didn't turn out the way they wanted to at the Olympics, but you know what? They're making things happen in this 2024 season, looking at making it a three-peat. They won the Women's Challenger Series in 2022 won it again in 2023 and here we are in 2024 with an opportunity to get their third stop win of the season Catherine converts the free throw gets Canada a two-point lead oh and look at the swipe from Catherine Plouffe and then the quick bucket from her teammate Kronzen Canada an absolute force tough team to beat as Hannah Pratt finally gets Dallas up on the board Catherine Catherine all net the real deal these Ploof twin sisters have been red hot throughout this Saskatoon stop and it's been a treat to see now, these two teams have got history. Last time Dallas faced Canada was at the Edmonton final earlier on this season as Davis tries to work her way to the cup. She meets the long arm of the law in Michelle Plouffe. Bosch to Michelle. Michelle, step back. Listen. Michelle Plouffe has been electric from beyond the arc. And Canada now with a four-point lead as Turner tries to get Dallas their second bucket of the day against this team. Davis knocks down the mid-range. Bosch, great pass in to find Michelle Plouffe. And we've been talking about the team chemistry of this Canadian squad. They don't even really need to think about what they need to do it's 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 become muscle memory now they just know and the way you see the way they move they know where they are at all on the floor at all times and it's just effortless basketball beautiful thing to see music basketball looking like poetry all the beautiful words casey bosch She's hacked by Yvonne Turner, so she'll earn a trip to the free throw line. Bosch hits the free throw, gets Canada 9 points, 8.14 to go in this game. General. This foul on her way up. It's going to be Casey Bosch's first team foul. Well, he's going to be a clarification on the floor. It's a technical foul, so it's going to be Paige Crozen who will shoot the free throw with no lineup. Gets the first one to go. And the possession will also go to Canada. So Michelle will get us started from the logo. Kicks it out to Catherine. Catherine into Michelle. And that back screen always works for Canada like magic. Wide open lay in for Canada. That's a nice two point shot for Hannah Pratt. She's been shooting 50% from beyond the arc. And this Saskatoon stop. Dallas, the team with the most points scored out of all of the eight in attendance here in Saskatoon. 
No look pass. Right into the hands of Casey Bosch. Bosch now kicks it out to Catherine. Catherine feeds into Crozen. And Hannah Pratt's sticky hands right there. Kayla Davis tries to go strong on the right side. Usually she's money when she's on that right-handed drive. But Paige Crozen timed it just right. Managed to slap the ball out of her hands. But it's going to be Canada foul on Canada as Zimmerman just grazes the front of the iron. Michelle finds Catherine. It's the twins in action. Out on the floor, work some things out as we take a look at the replays. Canada getting it done offensively and defensively. We've seen Paige Cozen going with the left, finishing with the right. We've seen them knock down the long distance too. Canada just doing everything right. And Dallas are going to have a long, long afternoon ahead of them with this Red Hawk Canadian team playing in front of their home crowd on home soil. Crozen throws up a long two. Michelle tries to save it. Bosch manages to keep it alive. Crozen head fake ball bounces off her feet so it's going to be black ball and Crozen has been such a great addition to Team Canada number one ranked player in women's 3x3 this season as Hannah Pratt tries to launch one from deep Zimmerman spins this way goes the other Unable to shake off the defenders, decides to go for the mid-range shot and just didn't have the legs to finish it up as Dallas now being forced out of position. But let, let's talk about Bosch being in the right position. That was Prozen, actually. Drains the two. Canada now 14 points. Dallas 5. Zimmerman has to throw one up for the buzzer. And it's way off as Canada's Catherine Plouffe looking like she's barely breaking a sweat. Just a testament to how strong this team is. Catherine from deep. Too strong. Off on that attempt, Yvonne Turner. She's got Catherine on her. Manages to throw one high. Above the hands of Catherine Plouf. Handoff. Crozen. Crozen on net. Puts it up. Knocks it down. And Canada now off to the races. Nice. Sitting on a nice 10 point lead. With not even halfway through this game. 521 to go. The last time these two teams met in Edmonton. Canada won 21 to 11. And they are right on track with a similar scoreline in this matchup as we see Michelle with the fadeaway. Pratt's got Michelle on her. It's going to be a foul on another foul on Canada, rather. It's going to be four fouls apiece. It's Canada up by 10. Thank you. 
And that's going to be a walk on Hannah Pratt. We've seen a couple of players struggle with that travel call from the logo. Frozen. Deuces. Frozen delivering two pieces. Spicy hot. And Dallas not able to answer back as we see Crozen now on the wing. Kicks it out to her teammate for another two. Listen, Canada wrap this thing up in epic fashion once again, 21 to seven. They were unstoppable from beyond the arc. And that's just what they do. They get buckets. They get buckets inside the paint, beyond the arc, and what... Thank you.